Hey guys, Michael McAllister here, founder of Empower LO, uh, former producing loan officer and mortgage technology enthusiast. Um, here I am to kind of walk you through the first steps as you log into uh, Empower LO and get ready to take advantage of the system to the best of its abilities. And without further ado, let's go ahead and log right in. I've got my username and password in here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, send that security code. All right, security code in and we're in you're going to notice a little on-screen guide uh that that welcomes you to the family right welcome to the empire family we're excited to have you on board okay this is going to tell you a little bit about everything okay we make tracking your mortgage opportunities easier than ever you can use workflows all of your mortgage market i'm going to walk you through this stuff so i'm going to skip through this a little bit but just know that this is what you can expect as soon as you log into the system okay when you're ready refresh this page let's go ahead and refresh the page All right, what we're gonna notice right off the bat here is in the lower right-hand corner, you see this get started orange button, okay? This is our onboarding checklist. This is gonna help make sure that you take advantage of the system to the best of its abilities, um, specifically getting a fast start in your free trial. I personally designed this workflow to make sure that you get the most out of this. So uh, first step is gonna be configure account defaults and settings. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It's gonna show us, right? Let's start by navigating to settings. Boom. Okay. It's going to tell us to update our company information. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this, but it's telling you exactly where to go to configure the basic settings. All right. Next step, we're going to integrate with Google and Facebook. So when we click on that, it's going to pull up. Let's get your basic integration set up. So we're going to hit settings. It's going to take us over to integrations. And then here's where you can sign in with your Google account, your G Suite profile. So if you're a broker, if your mortgage company uses G Suite, this is where you can link up to your calendar to make sure uh, that you can take advantage of the appointment scheduling functionality in here. So you definitely want to do this. Same thing if you're running Google ads or if you have Google analytics installed on your site, there's a lot of really cool reporting tools um, that are that are built into this. And so uh, if you have any of that linked to your Google account, you're going to want to link that up to your Empower LO profile. Okay. Once you're done with that, connect your Facebook location. This is gonna allow you to schedule posts automatically with our social media calendar. Um, it's also going to allow you to track your Facebook ad performance in here if you're running any of those, any reviews that you're getting on Facebook, uh, as well as communicate with your prospects via, uh, via Facebook Messenger, okay? All right, then we're gonna click Empower Hello. It's gonna take us back to our dashboard. And once we're back to our dashboard, we can get back to the checklist. All right, so next thing, we're gonna choose our virtual phone number. What does this look like? So when we click choose our virtual phone number, it's gonna pull us into the settings, phone numbers, okay? And we're gonna add our phone number. I'm in Idaho, my area code's 208. I'm gonna search 208. With these available numbers, you're gonna see this monthly fee over here, okay? So this is based on the amount of credit that you have in your account. So for every free trial, you're gonna start out with 25 bucks of free credit, which is also the same amount of free credit that you get every month with your professional subscription. For 90% of our clients, this is more than enough to do everything that you need to do, especially because those credits roll over from month to month. So if you get off to a slow start, you'll build up some of those credits. Um, our, our clients that use this the most are spending 50 to 100 bucks on top of their 197 subscription fee. So don't be afraid of this. Um, this is just us protecting ourselves in the event that you are a power user, which we love, and it'll 100% be worth it for you. Um, but obviously that'll end up costing us a lot of money. So that being said, pick your number, know that in your free trial, this is not costing you anything. Okay. And then we could shoot, we can name the number. So this will be Michael's phone number Ford calls two. We'll put my phone number in there. Okay. There's some extra settings here, right? We can record calls if we want to. We can set timeout durations, but for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. And we're gonna head back to the dashboard. All right, next thing, import our marketing contacts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through an example of what this looks like, but this is one of the most important and one of the first things you should be doing because without contacts inside of your CRM, you are not going to do anything with it. So you can add one contact at a time by clicking the plus button. 
And that'll allow you to go in here and manually add Joe Blow, Joe Blow at gmail.com. Okay. Is it a lead or a customer? This is a lead. What time zone are they in? You can set defaults in this with this stuff in your settings, or you can disable it entirely uh, if you don't work out of multiple time zones. Okay. Boom. Now a contact has been created. That's one way to do it. Okay. You can also do a mass import. So if I do a mass import, then I'm going to go in here. Let's see if I can find some leads real quick. Or I'm looking for a CSV file, Zoho export. That might be it. That might be it. That might be some leads. Just trying to show you an example here. It's really easy, okay? This is gonna take the header from your CSV file. So as long as you have a header row that has all of your uh, all of your form fields labeled in there, it's gonna automatically pull those and it's gonna match with any that are obvious right away, okay? If none are obvious, then you're gonna be able to go in here and map any field from your CSV file to any field that you have in here. Don't import data in unmatched columns, right? Next import name you can name it you can create a list here so i'm going to call this import zoho contacts create a list we can match right match contacts in here and we can add tags we can also add them to workflows or campaigns which we're not going to pay attention to right here when we're ready we press submit and then it's going to upload all of our contacts really easy okay really really simple to get started with this and upload all of your contacts we're going back home okay once that's done we can create our first opportunity, okay? Contacts are different than opportunities. Oppor the contacts are contact. Contacts are literally the, the contacts that you have in your database, regardless of whether or not they're a lead for you, a customer, a vendor, whatever. You put all of your contacts into your database. Now, an opportunity, this is different. An opportunity, this is where you're going to track your pipeline. This is going to track your refer. This is where you're going to track your referral partner pipeline. This is where you're going to track your lead pipeline applications that you've taken. You can even track applications that you have in process with this. Okay. So what do I mean? How can you toggle between this? Well, first off, we have on-screen instructions as usual to kind of explain this to you. I'm going to skip through this so that I can walk you through this personally. Okay. So what does this look like? Well, if we create an opportunity, we can find our contact right here. So if I type in Joe, it's going to pull up Joe Blow. Okay. So I can associate every opportunity to a contact. Okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean that a contact is an opportunity. There's plenty of instances where you would have a contact that is not actually an opportunity for you. So I'm gonna call this Joe Blow Purchase. It's gonna go in the pre application pipeline. We're gonna go engaged. Let's say it's a $350,000 loan amount and it came from a referral. Who's the owner? Me. Okay, right now I'm in the app receive pipeline. So I got to toggle over to the pre-application pipeline and we're going to see Joe Blow purchase here. So if we want to move Joe through the pipeline, we can do that by dragging and dropping him. We can also click on the opportunity blank space and we can move it over here. Okay, or we can mark them as one abandoned or lost in which case that changes the status, which is not the same thing as a pipeline stage. These are your stages. Your status is are open one lost or abandoned. So if I drag this over here to lost, it's gonna disappear unless I choose the status as lost and now I can see it there. So this is your opportunity pipeline. We also have one set up for you for prospective agent partners, okay? So you can set up as many of these as you want. If you go into pipelines, you just create a new pipeline and you can set this up however you want it to. You can adjust your pipeline stages for the ones that we've given you. Or again, you can just create your own uh, from a clean slate. That works too. Okay. So now going back, the last stage, creating and launching your first workflow. Guys, this is the power. This is the power of Empower Hello right here is this marketing automation. Okay. So we're going to create and launch our first workflow. workflow. This says it's time to launch our first workflow. We're going to click on automation. Boom. Here's a little explanation video just about workflows just for you guys. I'm going to click I'm done because I don't need that right now. And I just want to show you guys the functionality of this. Guys, we already have a lot of workflows built out for you based on workflows that our current agency clients are using and have been using for upwards of four or five years. Um, obviously updated in the meantime. You're going to see that all of these are in a draft status, which means 
although they are ready to go, they are not going to go automatically until you come in here and enable them for obvious reasons, right? We don't want to send you send your clients automations that you aren't aware of. So this gives you the opportunity to go into every single one of these, check out what's going on, what are we doing, right? This is straight up like lead purchase, like purchase lead campaign, not a lot of logic involved there. Um, first reply from contact, right? We've got in here, create an opportunity, move it to the responded stage. Okay, so there's some stuff in here. Appointment reminders. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here already pre-built, ready to go for you. All you have to do is go into one of these. And when you're ready, hit this publish button, save. And boom, it's live. All right, let's say I want to create my own workflow from scratch, okay? Let's say, uh, for example, that I work with multiple realtors in, in different areas, uh, and I get leads that come in that I want to route to them based on the area that the lead comes in at. Seems super complicated. It's actually not. Check this out. So if I go in here, I'm going to start from scratch, create a new workflow, okay? And let's say my trigger is a contact created okay we might want to filter this one so that not every time a contact is created it goes through this workflow for example we could say has tag purchase if we tag all of our purchase leads as purchase when they come in then we might want to set up this filter so that it's contact created with purchase tag you don't have to name it like that however it's a good best practice to do so so that you can come back and see what your workflows are doing later on so this one is route leads bait route purchase leads based on zip code okay boom so we're gonna go in here first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our logic okay we got multiple we have multiple branches so what's the condition what is the zip code okay branch we're gonna say we're gonna call this one uh ada county right i'm out here in idaho we'll go ada county and we're gonna go contact details we're gonna look for zip or postal code sorry postal code is what it's referred to as uh postal code is a three six four two okay now let's say we want to add more no problem three six four six oops right okay so this is ada county now let's say i want to add another county we can go canyon county we can say contact details postal sorry is and we're gonna say three six eight seven okay boom so if it's ada county what do we want to do well we want to assign it we want to send it to a realtor so we're going to go notification type of notification we're going to do an email notification from me right michael Who's the user type that we're sending it to? Well, if we have our we have our realtors in our system, which I probably wouldn't recommend if you have multiple realtors, um, we could assign it to a user here. So if you have loan officers on your team and you want to use the same sort of automation for loan officers, you can do this uh, by sending it to a particular user based on these different branches. We're going to do custom email. We're going to go agent at gmail.com, new lead from Michael McAllister. Okay, I can select one of the templates that I've pre-created or I can go in here and I can create my own and I could say, here is a new lead for you to work. Details, boom, and we go first name, we go in here, custom values, contact, first name, last name. Custom values, contact, last name, okay? Email, colon, custom values, contact, email, 
Okay, so you get it, right? You get it. So save action, boom. There's my Ada County sending that lead, sending that lead to Ada County. Then I can also do another step that says contact. Let's say I have a field for which agent they're assigned to. I'm going to say business name is that one. Now you can set this up however you want to, but let's say business name. Uh, we're going to update the contact field business name to agent Z. Boom. So that now we know that we sent that lead to that agent. Okay. This is a, this is an example. I rushed through this. This isn't one that you're going to want to use more than likely, but I just want to show you how easy it is to interact with this system. It may not be super easy at, up front, but I promise you, once you get used to this, this is going to change your life. This is going to change your business 100% hands down. All right, now you've completed that onboarding checklist. So the, the last thing to know with this is that you're going to see a chat bubble pop up. I'm in here on a Saturday. You don't see it because we're not here. If that chat bubble is up, we are here physically in our office in Boise, Idaho. We do not have anybody outsourced managing support or anything like that. We are here in our office. We are here and ready to help you. So take advantage of that chat bubble. Take advantage of Empower LO support over here where it's going to give you walkthroughs, lots of videos on how to do this. You've got everything that you need in here. Plus, it's a 14-day free trial. What do you got to lose? Uh, reach out if you have any questions. I look forward to working with you. We'll see you at the top.